Hello everybody, it is really, really lovely to have you here with me and it's St. Patrick's Day this week so I decided that I would do a special St. Patrick's Day show for you all. I know that there are many of you who tune in from Ireland and the UK but there are also some of you who may be from Ireland who are tuned in from all around the world and you'll always be Irish and hello to all of you as well in all the other countries. I do hope that you enjoy this little celebration of St. Patrick's Day today. Please like and subscribe this video and share it with other people who you think might enjoy it and might get something out of it on this St. Patrick's Day celebration. So for my wee theme this week, we'll be singing songs relating to St. Patrick's Day and also I'll be sharing some little stories with you about the man himself. When Patrick was about 14, he was captured by Irish pirates and taken to Ireland as a slave to tend sheep. At that time, Ireland was a land of druids and pagans, but Patrick turned to God and in his book, Confessions, he wrote, The love of God and his fear grew in me more and more, as did the faith. And my soul was roused so that in a single day I have said as many as a hundred prayers, and in the night nearly the same. I prayed in the woods or on the mountain, even before dawn. I felt no hurt from the snow or ice or rain. Our first piece today is taken from one of Patrick's more popular prayers from the breastplate of St. Patrick, and this is set to an Irish melody. We do hope that you enjoy this. Christ be beside me, Christ be before me, Christ be behind me, King of my heart. Christ be within me, Christ be below me, Christ be above me, never to part. Christ on my right hand, Christ on my left hand, Christ all around me, shielding the strife. Christ in my sleeping, Christ in my sitting, Christ in my rising, light of my life. We hope you enjoyed that to get us started on today's little show. Patrick's captivity lasted until he was about 20. Can you imagine any teenagers today being made a slave for about six years? Patrick stayed in Ireland until God told him to leave Ireland by going to the coast. And this was indeed a way to escape. There he found some sailors who took him back to Britain where he was reunited with his family. A few years after returning home, Patrick had a vision in which he felt the people of Ireland calling him back to be among them in Ireland. The people said, we appeal to you, holy servant boy, to come and walk among us. The vision prompted Patrick to study for the priesthood and he was ordained and was sent to take the gospel back to Ireland. And our next song is an Irish hymn. It's called Isa Christ 
and daddy's going to sing this one for you. I think it's beautiful. The words are about my sweetheart, Jesus Christ. We hope that you enjoy this song today. Aisha Christ, na himi wun, na himi wun gujaw. Ag fanan siya, inagal yun, awon minisaw. Aisha Christ, na himi wun, na himi wun gujaw. I'd just like to say thank you. I reached a thousand subscribers. Thank you to everyone who watches my show. And to say thank you to my thousandth subscriber, I'm going to do a week giveaway. So if this is you, Patrick Doherty, he's no relation. I think Patrick is in America somewhere and if he owns a horse ranch, get in touch with us on Facebook. Send us your address and our two CDs, A Living Prayer and A Couple More Years will be on their way to you. Thank you to everyone. And for those of you who have been inquiring, our CDs are available for sale on our website, hupandmaria.com. Patrick arrived in Slain in March 433. The country was in total darkness on the eve of the Easter Vigil, which was a pagan festival. They were celebrating the power of darkness. The High King of Ireland was supposed to be the first to light his fire that night. But St. Patrick lit his Easter fire first. And when the High King came over to confront him, Patrick began to preach to him. The High King disbelieved him and they had a battle. The Druids were really, really evil and they put one of St. Patrick's guys and one of the High King's guys into these wooden houses and set them on fire. St. Patrick's man survived and the High King gave him permission to preach the gospel throughout Ireland after that. The Druids and the Pagans converted to Christianity and St. Patrick baptised so many of the Irish people. Be Thou My Vision is a traditional hymn from Ireland and I think that it's really, really beautiful because with God as our vision, ourselves, our world, our lives and what we do with our lives are so changed. Can you hear the little birds? <laughs> with God as our vision, when we look through the eyes of Jesus, this is Be Thou My Vision. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence. My light, be thou my wisdom and thou my true word. I ever with thee and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great father and I thy true son. Thou in me dwell. Riches. 
is I need not nor man's empty praise Thou mine inheritance know and always Thou and Thou only first in my heart High King of Heaven my treasure King of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joy, so bright heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O oh, ruler of all. Still be my vision, O ruler of all. I really hope that you enjoyed that little piece. And I think that maybe until next time when we meet again, if we could make Jesus our vision and just look at the world, our lives and even ourselves, through his eyes, how differently we would see everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this little show with some of your friends or your family, even those who may have moved abroad, who you think might enjoy something special this St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's prayer on Croke Patrick is so well known. He spent 40 days and 40 nights on top of Croke Patrick praying and fasting. It was at a time when he was particularly disheartened with his work in Ireland and he bargained with God during this time and one of the things that he prayed for was that the Irish people would never lose their faith. St. Patrick began building churches across the country. He often used the shamrock to describe the Holy Trinity, three persons in one God. He worked many miracles and years after preaching, traveling and enduring much, he died on March the 17th, 461. He died where he had built his first Irish church and he is buried at Downpatrick. I couldn't end my little show this week without playing our last hymn. It's called Hail Glorious St. Patrick and I always feel like standing up and giving it a good go and I hope that you do as well. I hope that wherever you are around the world that you can join in and sing this beautiful song in memory of St. Patrick today. There are so many ways that St. Patrick's Day is being celebrated today and marked in a way that has nothing to do with the man himself and I'm sure that some of them he would look down strangely upon. So maybe we can all get together and sing this beautiful song today and actually remember him as the true saint that he really was and the impact that he had on Ireland and on the world at large. I hope that it brings you a lot of joy today. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and if you're new here I put up a new video every Sunday fortnight. So that's a new video every two weeks and every time I try to bring you something new that will please God uplift you and give you hope. So I do hope that you click that little thumbs up subscribe button so that you receive my content whenever I put it out. So I'll see you all in two Sundays time and I'm looking forward to it already. And sing along with us. This is Hail Glorious St. Patrick. Happy St. Patrick's Day everybody. Hail glorious St. Patrick, dear saint of our isle, on us thy poor children bestow a sweet smile. And now thou art high in thy mansions above, on Erin's green valleys look down in thy love. On Erin's green valleys, on Erin's green valleys, on Erin's green valleys, look down in thy love. Thy people now exiles on many a shore shall love and revere thee.
till time be no more, and the fire thou hast kindled shall ever burn bright, its warmth undiminished, undying its light. Its warmth undiminished, its warmth undiminished, its warmth undiminished, undying its light. Ever bless and defend thee, sweet land of thy birth, where the shamrock still bloom as when thou wert on earth, and our hearts shall yet burn wherever we roam, for God and St. Patrick and our native home. For God and St. Patrick, for God and St. Patrick, for God and St. Patrick and our native home. For God and St. Patrick, for God and St. Patrick, for God and St. Patrick and our native home.